All right, today we are traveling north to Butler County, Jefferson Township to be exact. There along Route 8, Freedom Farms and North Country Brewing have teamed up to open the first North Country Corn Crib Tap Room. So much fun. It's a unique spot where guests can enjoy live music and homegrown recipes. And Selena Pompiani Matheson is checking it out and she joins us live from the Corn Crib in Butler County. What a great idea. Uh, you're telling me, David and Heather, this is a great idea. And you know what? This place had me at its name, North Country Corn Crib Tap Room. I love it, and it's pretty easy to say, Sue, but we have so much good stuff here. We got great beers, great martinis, great food. They have it all, and this is a really unique space where we're at. It's a co-working space, and they have partnered with Freedom Farms, and that's where we are today in Butler County. So I am here right now with Dina Hauer. She is the general manager. Thanks for having us, Dina. Cheers. What, so we're cheersing. I'm putting down the beer and we have a martini. So what is this martini that you made? So it's never too early for a martini, right? Uh, this is our farmhouse martini. It is made with uh, leek infused vodka and uh, Freedom Farms farmhouse pickle brine and uh, a little bit of bitters. And that's all there is to it. We got some fresh dill and then we garnish it with one of the pickles and it's time to enjoy. Cheers, Dina. We love pickles on PTL. We got to go back to the name though. What exactly is a corn crib? How did you create that title? So I'm a city girl. I live in Pittsburgh. And when we had our first marketing meeting, I looked at the space and I said, well, could we name it something that has to do with the little silos out back? And they said, you mean the corn cribs? And I said, Oh, that's what they're called. So, uh, yeah, so actually a corn crib is used to store grain to feed livestock, and uh, they repurposed two corn cribs from another farm uh, here to provide seeding outside, and uh, that's where the name came from. Also, uh, Freedom Farms, uh, their logo is a hand holding an ear of corn, so we figured it tied in with Freedom Farms as well. Yeah. Well, our friends at Yajagoff have a great beer here. Do you use corn to make any of the beer? How does that work? Yeah, so actually I think uh, Patrick might be able to tell you a little bit more about how we brew um, using corn in the Yajagoff beer. And we're going to meet Patrick in like two seconds, but we got to talk about this food before I go over there. What is some of this stuff? Because everything here is farm to table, right? Yes, absolutely. Uh, the Freedom Farms Farm to Fork Kitchen is fantastic. They use um, all of their you know, own products that they grow and they make this fantastic food. So we have a flatbread, a tomato basil flatbread here. Um, and then the Italian grinder, which is one of their most popular sandwiches. And obviously garden salad as well, in case you feel guilty about drinking all the beer. Ooh. <laughs> uh oh, uh-oh. Is it time for a napkin? Can I get you one? You know, I eat a lot on TV. That has never happened. <laughs> it's first time for everything, right? <laughs> well, Gina, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. This is delicious. I'm going to go meet Patrick now. I'm going to take my little flatbread over here. Patrick, this is Patrick Morris from North Country Brewing Company. Great to see you. Nice to see you. I'm still eating over here. Everything oh, is, is so good. It is really good, Patrick. Tell me more about the beer here, and I want to talk about that Yajagoff beer that we mentioned. It's $3. It is $3 for a 16-ounce draft of an American Light Lager that we've teamed up with with the Yajagoff people. Hi, John. Hi, Rachel. Um, and uh, $3 for a 16-ounce draft. We do use corn, uh, so the corn crib kind of comes into it. What that does is um, it kind of smooths out the flavor a little bit um, and the, um, the, the biteness of the beer. Ooh. Yeah. You guys got great stuff here. I may go back to my beer over here and that martini. I still haven't tried the martini. What am I drinking again, Patrick? You're drinking the uh, Backpack Stash Hazy Pale Ale. Uh, it's a 5% sessional beer. Uh, all year round, you can get it. You can find it wherever North Country sold. And it's so good. Well, guys, we got a cheers. Here we go. I'm going to pick up my martini here. I can't wait to try it. Thank you for having us. This place is so cool, David and Heather. You gotta check it out, and it's really not far at all from the city. It's a close ride up north. Any place where napkins are required, I'm in. <laughs> this is a napkin moment. <laughs> I love that. So fun. All right, cheers, Selena. We love it. All right, the North Country Corn Crib Tap Room opens at 11 a.m. Wednesday through Sunday. I can't wait to go there. It looks so fun.